Hey guys, it's me, Nash, and my dad, Dave. Hey. Here with some more <clears throat> of Rose of the RC family. And today, again, we have the Red Cat FS10. And we are going to be putting a new motor in it. We think it's the 35 turn. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. And, yeah. Yeah, so we really like the Everest 10. Um, the motor that's in it's a good motor for crawling. Not very fast. Get from obstacle to obstacle. Um, we're in Minnesota. We like to play with it out in the snow a little bit. Um, when you spin the tires, it doesn't spin them very fast. You spin the tires a little bit faster in the snow, you clean out the tread. And so we're looking for something like that a little bit. A little help with that. Um, the motor that we got is RC four-wheel drive. 35 turn. Um, I think it was $12. Something like that. Uh, so, something like 15 Okay, uh, maybe after tax and stuff, 15 But mm -hmm. fairly inexpensive. Cheap, easy. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that in. So you pick up a little bit of speed. Hopefully maybe a little tire speed. Um, pretty simple. Uh, we're going to start with taking this, dropping this bottom plate down. There's a few screws, four screws here. We'll see what that entails once we get there. If we got to actually drop uh, four link arms or anything like that. We'll let you know um, if that's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go ahead and uh, pause the video, get going on it. We'll chime in a couple of times and uh, let you know what we're doing. But that'll keep the video a little shorter. Wait. One okay. last thing. One last thing. I think the... Because the lower the number you go, the faster the turn or... The lower the turn, so 35 turn, turn, 35, it would be the faster the motor is. Alright, yeah. And the, I think the smallest uh, turn turn we're going to go for is maybe 20 on this one, um, but it may be 24 that we're going to stop. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I've seen people do 27 turns and... 20 turns and a bunch of different stuff on videos. So, um, yeah, we would decide to stay with the 35, keep it manageable for now, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, just wanted to talk with you real quick about this. Um, whenever you're doing anything with these cars, taking stuff apart, first thing you want to do is always make sure you take your battery out. You know, disconnect it, whatever. Um, take it out. You don't want that on when you're taking apart electrical components just uh, to be safe. Uh, you don't want to fry anything out, so, okay. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we disconnected the four link bars. All you have to do is just take a screw here, and that. Screwdriver, Phillips. Yep, and just, they're right here, there's a, there's a one of these in there. Oh, screw. <laughs> screw. A screw in there. All right. All you have to do is just... We decided not to take these four on the bottom out. Um, now, stuff with the four links disconnected doesn't want to rotate so well, but these four that I said, we decided not to take those out. That just takes out the transmission. We're going to try and leave the transmission connected, see what we can do. Um, there's little guide... Um, little guide pins here that you got to just kind of separate the body a little bit whoa and it's whole transmission and everything drops down and i think we should be able to just oh yeah slide I'm, it out here i unboxed the motor as well so here's what it looks like and as you can see 35 turn backwards well we're gonna have to see i think we're gonna have to separate these drive shafts here somehow to get this out of here to really oh and there it went. <laughs> so that's how we're going to separate that drive oh, shaft, yeah, apparently. Just, boom. There. And now all we have to do is just disconnect the uh, and then motor. Just disconnect the wires here. here. Up here. And just pull apart. What? Here's the thing. I don't want to break it. Really. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which parts are, like, connected to which and then be pulling on one part and then break it. There. All so right. as you can see, there's the little rubber around them. You got the female end here. The male ends are connected to the motor. That, that whole part should drop out now. Transmission there, everything. There. Boom. Boom. So, As you can see, transmission. It's a 40 turn. No, it's a 540 motor. Oh. Okay. Um, 
and you can see the transmission and everything's still there. There's the um, uh, spur gear and the pinion gear. Now all we have to do is, is take out this motor here. There's two screws on the front on the motor mounting bracket there. We're going to take those out. Then we have to take the pinion gear off and put it onto the other motor and remount the other motor. Hopefully everything goes good and everything lines up real nice. Um, I heard these motors are supposed to work very well for this. So, all right. Lots of people are trying them. All right, we'll get back to you.